What's going on guys, College Lefty Gaming, and today I have for you guys another game I played off stream. It's a highlight video. I was at 875 rating, and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so he's got Felix Hernandez, Jackie Robinson, Matt Kemp, Ken Griffey Jr., Mike Piazza, Mike Schmidt, Duke Snyder, Cal Ripken Jr., Johnny Bench. So he definitely has, definitely has a good team. We got Vita Blue on the mound. We got Ken Griffey Jr. and all the Immortals after that. He's got a pretty good record, 68 and 32. Uh, before this, I was actually kind of mat trying to match up. I got two two good opponents. I also had a similar team to this guy, and they both sent friendly quits. I figured I'd just accept them. And I was I was surprised that this guy didn't send a friendly quit. And then I throw the first pitch fastball. He's late on it, and then he does send the friendly quit. So I I, I didn't want to accept it just because just because of I mean I already pitched the, pitched the ball, but it seems like every time I accept or I decline a friendly quit, then something like Something that happens like this. Next pitch I throw, base hit up the middle. Jackie Robinson on first base. Not a very good start. And then just a, like a very next batter, two pitches later. Go for a curveball. He's stealing. Below the zone, hit and run. Created player fans on it. I probably took a bad route towards the baseball there. I probably could have gotten a little bit deeper in the outfield and, and made the play. Don't know if I would have been able to throw Matt Kemp out at first. But he takes a one nothing lead early on, bringing up Griffey with nobody out. I'm just like, here we go. Should have accepted the friendly quit, man. But uh, luckily, jam him up, up on the inside fastball. And the reason why there's no game audio in this one is because I was listening to music, listening to some other people's streams while I was playing this game last night. And uh, sometimes I don't do, I don't usually do that. So for the most part, all the game audio is included in my other videos. This one, it won't be It'll just be my voice and some music. But uh, here we got our own Ken Griffey Jr. up at the plate, and I just missed that ball, as you can see the PCI there. I mean, I was, I was just a little bit, a little bit under it, a little bit. Uh, I swung too much over the middle there. The ball's on the outer half, bringing up Chipper Jones in a two-one count, and he misses his location there with the up and away sinker. Chipper Jones deposits it to right field, tying up the game here at one. Next batter up is Babe Ruth in a 0-1 count. Throws the sinker low and away, and Babe Ruth just squares that one up perfectly. Demolishes it into right field as well. Take a one, take a one run lead right there. Very next batter, Albert Pujols. A few more pitches into the actually no, very next pitch. Kind of took his time there a little bit. I was expecting for another sinker. He throws another sinker up in the zone, and I smash it to left field. It's a good start to this game. Go up three, three to one, and uh, got Mike Piazza in the second inning here, leading it off. Just missed another home run right there. Just a little bit early. If you can see there on the feedback, my PCI wasn't quite on it. Kind of hit it in that borderline yellow to red range with the with the bat to the barrel of the ball or whatever. But it's going to happen. I mean, with this Piazza, he has a little bit of a slower swing. So I'm trying to do exactly right there. Start my swing early. Try to hit, pull the ball. If, if the earlier you swing with him, the, the more, I think, the more uh, power you're going to have with him. But I, no, I noticed through this throughout this game, I kind of fast forward a little bit. We both started not to hit hit as well. We both kind of figured each other out a little bit at the plate. I noticed this guy was struggling with the fastball inside, had a tough time turning on it. And uh, so I, I mean, here you just can't really pitch to Griffey. I threw a curveball low and away, just out of the zone. He, he still hits it. I think Griffey was one of his better hitters. I think Griffey's the best immortal of the best card in this game. And I think. That if anybody has him, you just you have to be careful, especially against a good player with Ken Griffey Jr. As I'm saying that, in this situation, he hits it out. The one pitch that he did turn on a fastball, that was a cutter from Kenley Jansen. And uh, I, I thought Kenley Jansen was going to be the move against this guy because he was struggling with that fastball. I don't think he didn't. I don't think Kenley had enough velocity on it. But there we get a bad animation there with the creative player. I think Jackie Robinson makes that play, but I got to have the creative player in there over him right now. Bring in Trevor Hoffman. I decided, well, I went with the fastball, so now I'm going to try to mix it up, go with the changeup. Maybe he, because uh, he was hitting Vita Blues off-speed pitches, so maybe Trevor Hoffman throws a little bit slower. So I thought maybe I could get him out in front just a hair, then try to go to a, another fireball or out of the bullpen, maybe maybe Eric Gagne, but he was tired in this game. So, I mean, I was trying to get a good outing from Vita. I wasn't able to go past, like, six innings. This guy was working the count a little bit. He was taking some pitches. Here, Ken Griffey Jr. is leading it off. I thought I, I thought I was gonna hit that one a little bit better. Just it, the PCI when I was swinging. If you look back there for like half a second, the PCI was huge when I was swinging. He definitely probably he probably had some bad feedback on that pitch, and I just I still was able to get a base hit, but I did miss it. It could have been easily a no doubt home run, 
anytime, anytime you throw the ball in the zone to Griffey, I feel like you can hit a bomb. But uh, here, J Chipper Jones on a hit and run. Advanced first to third there with Griffey. And Babe Ruth with guys on base. I don't I don't think you can pitch to him, honestly. Like, he gets really high exit velocities with when there's nobody on base. And then when you add somebody on base, it seems like he gets at least like a plus five added to it. So it's, it just seems that way anyways. The controller is like barely vibrating at all in a clutch situation. We get a walk with Pujols there. He brings in Felipe Vasquez, who in this game still says audio name is Felipe Rivero. Which I thought was kind of funny. I haven't used him since they changed his name. But uh, Felipe Rivera is pitching an 0-2 count. He, I was expecting a slider in. And since he did set up a fastball up and away to start the at-bat, I thought that he might go back to it. He did. I was still early on that outside pitch. Creative player still had enough pop to get it out there into left field, deep enough to score a run. Wasn't sure if he was going to go home there. So try to tag up with Babe Ruth. I had to go back to second. Now with Mike Piazza coming up against the lefty, it's a, it's a pretty good situation, and I missed the hanging curveball. I definitely swung more uh, low and away than I did low and inside there, and I can't see the feedback, but I know I didn't get that one. I know I missed it. Definitely should have been a ground ball out right there. But here I bring in uh, Lee Smith, who's kind of similar to Kenley Jansen in a way, just has a little bit different pitches. And Chipper Jones, he he's playing like a fool out there. Bad reaction. I might have uh, messed up on the the analog stick in which way I, I think I pushed up on the analog stick I might have had to uh, come in on it or maybe just not even move it at all for him to make that play don't know maybe he just got a bad bad animation but anyway I uh, int unintentionally intentionally walked Ken Griffey Jr. didn't want him to tie up the game there or put it in within one run I figured I would just put Griffey on he didn't really hit with Piazza that well this game and he did hit the home run earlier with Griffey so if he was going to hit it out with Piazza he was going to hit it out but here I I messed up, I threw a slider low and away, and I kind of hung it, just got enough, too much of the plate there, and Mike Schmidt hits it out, I mean, I should have went with the fastball, he was struggling with the fastball, just a stupid mistake there for me, uh, next up, I bring in Billy Wagner to face Duke Snyder, left a fastball right over the plate for him, but that's what I was saying, he was kind of late on it, just wasn't hitting the fastball as well, the only one he did hit was with that, with that Griffey earlier on, so here Chipper Jones, is two for three with the home run and the single already in the game. Bottom of the eighth inning with six outs remaining in this one. If we do get that last one, that last at bat in the bottom of the ninth, I think being the home team this year is is extremely huge, especially with with uh, immortal cards and and this last event as well. But here, Chipper Jones, what a swing on that one! Just as soon as I hit down, I I was like, yes, finally, man, let's let's go. Got the lead back after I after I messed up. It was 100% my fault, but that one was a perfectly squared up fork ball. Low in the zone on an 0-2 count. I'm sure he was trying to get it below the zone just a bit and hung it a little bit, but there with Babe Ruth. I mean, I missed that one once again. Base hit up the middle. I mean, I'm starting to I'm starting to pull it around with Babe Ruth. I, I had I struggled early with him. I started out my first couple games. I think I was hitting like two, 200 to 250, and I, I've only used him online. And since then, since the Moonshot event, and since playing with him in rank these last few days, I've uh, got my average up like or almost close to 400. So he, he definitely is turning around for me. Here's Pujols in a 6 to 5 game. I'm trying to steal with Jackie Robinson. I was really taking my time there. I wasn't sure if I should <laughs> take out Babe Ruth for Jackie Robinson. Kind of a crazy move. But this late in the game with the lead, I figured if I can get this extra insurance run with nobody out in the inning. I'll be all right, and Jackie will be better out there in left field than Babe Ruth will be on defense. There, I thought I got that one, man. It, if you look, take a look at this feedback afterward, I think I, I'm pretty sure I included it in the video. But I uh, pretty much squared that one up pretty good. Just got an okay contact, which we, it might have just been me moving the PCI slightly too much at the like at the very last second, causing a little bit of a penalty. I know that that's what, uh, in the patch notes, I remember reading some of that stuff. But anyway... Creative player with Chipper Jones swing gets another base hit, and the creative player with so far when when I'm using the Chipper Jones swing with the added equipment, as I uh, posted in the live stream yesterday and the video I uploaded yesterday, I included all that stuff in there. This uh this creative player has been much improved. I've really noticed a huge difference in just a few games with with only like a couple points in like power and and I, I took away a couple points of speed switching up the rituals and all that stuff, but. That video is posted for for the equipment as well in the live stream. So, bring in Billy Wagner. He's still he's still in there. I figured I, I could I could go to Gagne. I could go to maybe Alex Wood with that slow changeup and the sink the sinker. But I figured I'd just leave in Wagner. He's got a little bit of a harder fastball. He was struggling with that pitch. 
and he's swinging here in the ninth. He, first two pitches he's swinging at, got the quick two outs. That, that definitely helps out in this in this type of situation. You want to get the first guy out specifically, and that's the most important guy is the first one because if somebody gets on base, he's just a bloop and a blast away from tying up this game. I don't really have a lot of bench guys left because I did take out Chipper Jones to bring in Johnny Bench. Didn't want to didn't want to risk it defensively out there. Want to put the best defensive guys I had. Just thought that that was the best move. I mean, I could have handcuffed myself if this game did go into extra innings. Here, throw a fastball. Figured out I was going to live or die with the fastball in that situation. He hits it opposite field to Ken Griffey Jr. He makes the play. And we, uh, crazy game. Every time he scored, I scored. And just had a, a every time he scored, I scored. A, it seemed like one more or two more runs than he did. I guess not not there in the eighth. He scored three and I scored two with that, with that home run that he hit, but... Chipper Jones, player of the game, with two home runs, three runs scored, three hits, and then the creative player with also with the Chipper Jones swing also had a couple hits in that game. So that, I think Chipper Jones has one of the best swings in this game. He's one of the best immortals. I put him right up there with Griffey, Ruth, and, and Pujols. But uh, pretty good opponent, 890 rating. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what I can do in, to improve. And I'm going to be trying to make a push to World Series later today. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.